have uh, Ju Ri, one of our uh, new Korean fighters, uh, brand new to Super Street Fighter 4. Um, Korean Taekwondo martial artist, uh, and frankly, just uh, not a friendly girl. She's uh, definitely evil. She's got a cybernetic purple eye. Um, she's got a spider based top. You don't usually see that out of uh, your happy, well adjusted girl next door. But she's got a few punch attacks, but it's basically all about the kicks. So, uh, in true Taekwondo fashion. So you see there's some traditional looking Taekwondo moves. But here uh, we've seen right there is um, basically a fireball attack. It actually has some start, some hit frames on startup there as well. If you want to get close and do it, you'll see that it ad does actually hit uh, the first part as well. But the interesting part about that is after you do the move, you can hold down the button and then release the attack at any time later. So while you're doing that, you're free to move around. You're free to hit any other attacks you want. Um, but it's just one of Judy's little tricks, so she can basically store her fireball and unleash it as a sort of surprise attack at any time um, while doing whatever else. Uh, so one of her other important moves, uh, there we see it's a counter move. So if you do it and then, yeah, you hit her while she's doing it, she can move in one of three directions. So she can either slide behind you, away from you, or up right there, um, which will, is an interesting effect against sometimes if somebody's jumping in and you flash up, you're able to counter them on the way down. Uh, very interesting stuff there. Uh, works sort of like a focus attack. You actually will take some damage, but then you uh, were able to heal that damage back up there, as you see. Um, her other sort of bread and butter basic offense move is this uh, pinwheel type attack, um, which you can do with uh, any of the three buttons. Um, so the uh, light kick version is, of course, the safest, um, but actually off the forward version, if you can go to the forward, you can actually link the ultra after that. Oh, nope, maybe not this time. But uh, you can link uh, the ultra after some of these setups, but it's a good basic way to keep on the offense. Uh, you see one of Jordy's rare punches there. She's on, on jab and strong. Um, she's got punch moves. That was actually her standing fierce there uh, at a distance, which is also a kick. So she's sort of like the opposite of Balrog. Um, instead of all kicks, she's, or instead of all punches, she's almost all kicks. Um, uh, one of her other great moves is the dive kick right there. That's the uh, regular version. Um, you've also got a, it's got a multiple follow-up. There's the EX version, and you can uh, see that after she hit connects with that, the opponent will actually hit the wall and then bounce off. You can juggle them after that. That's a mechanic we've seen somewhere in some previous Street Fighter games, but it's definitely new to Street Fighter 4, the ability to bounce people right off the walls. So those are uh, Jody's specials in a nutshell. Um, makes her very versatile. So she's a very fast fighter, uh, very quick on her feet, and uh, has a lot of range options to jump around. Um, as well as uh, a lot of different kind of juggling options and frankly one of the best looking characters in the game so she has to take some chances basically to generate some offense so but she's got a lot of different options so she's she's effective at, up close has some decent moves at a distance and of course that dive kick makes her dangerous from anywhere in the air there's her ultra uh, which is a nice uh, nice looking ultra that she slams you down you land on her foot she whispers something into your ear flashes her evil eye at you and then uh, you're down and out it's also got a very nice focus attack, um, and her super is pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to build up the super in time to uh, show that off. Maybe DJ can beat you up a little bit, and we can work on that. And DJ flips her right out of there. So that is one of uh, Judy's liabilities. She's got a lot of offensive options from different ranges, but she's slightly weak. She takes a little bit more damage, and she also doesn't hit super hard, so you basically, you have more chances to create a lot of uh, offensive opportunities, but you need to have, you need to be able to set people up more than once in a round. So it's not like you're waiting to do her big, uh, you know, spinning pile driver that can win you the round. So let's take a look at her super really quickly, sort of a version of her uh, fireball, super version, and you can see it's got, uh, shoots out multiple fireballs and juggles her up. But that's Jury in a nutshell. So a lot of uh, offensive options, but she's going to need to take some chances and get in your face. So she's a lot of fun to play right away, uh, a lot of tricks, and uh, just a character with a lot of great style. So definitely one to watch.